Okay, so it actually works now. As you can see, there is the iPad. 13 inch on the duet connected straight from the cable and then the uh, iPad 11 is connected via air display which is side car and then the TV is connected via the HDMI cable this one yeah HDMI cable and so technically you can but if you see here this is actually displaying so if I move it it'll go to the TV okay if I move it right and then if I move it left it goes to my iPad 11 inch but earlier I had trouble connecting to the, iP the 13 inch iPad so let me let's see what happens if I turn off the mirror display it's adjusting resolution adjusting, adjusting. and it got stuck so uh, I think it's a little glitchy at this point because for some reason I have to close the app, do it, and then connect again. Now it's connected, but it's black. Black screen. But I don't know, you can't even see the mouse on the iPad. Okay, so disabled, enabled. Okay, so now I enabled the, the touch bar from disabling it to enabling it. There you go, see the bars. And if I click on these buttons, the touch bar, the, there you go, works here. If I do the volume, do the volume, do the volume here, it goes up and down. So it works with the duet, the touch bar and everything. Okay, but it doesn't work with not mirroring the display, so I get, you see the quality is already in regular. Let's try frame rate 30 FPS and turn this off maybe. This would mean turning it off for the retina, retina, but now it's stuck. It's just an endless loop. So it's a little wonky, buggy, whatever you call it. It's just, um, I had to force quit. Force quit. I can't even force quit it. I can't even find it. Okay, great. So there you have it. Wonky as hell. Buggy as hell. But nevertheless, you have to use sidecar plus duet, but duet has to be mirror displayed. And you can still use the external display to the monitor at the back. And welcome to my office and my channel. Please like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Thank you.